Hey, welcome to Kiwi Tech, and today I'm going to show you three apps that I use all the time. So, let's get into those three. Right, so the three apps I'm going to show you today are, let me just get to the right page. Okay, so the first one that's really important for me is Pop-Up. Next one is... Office Suite Pro 7 and the next one is SwiftKey um, but with a feature that I use constantly. So pop up. Now the Galaxy S4 and like many Samsung devices it shows you've got a text message but it doesn't show you what it is and it's quite important for me to see what that is um, and I can ignore it or I can choose to answer it. So under notifications we have a theme with this app and I'll show you the theme, current theme. There it is. So this is what it'll look like, the pop-up message. If I change the theme to maybe have a Nexus, that was the um, sort of smoky theme. This is the Nexus 4 theme. So it's more of a stock Android style, which is kind of the, th the ROM that I'm running today. So I'm, I, I'm just going to stick with this one. So you can have a, quite a few uh, settings. Lock screen, display, um, have a white wake up the notification, wake up your phone when it does it. Um, if you want to not display this, the full text, just the um, person, or totally hide it and just say you've got an alert, you can have that option. So let me just go and test that. I'll go into my messaging and send a text to myself, and I'll show you what it does. Right, so let me just select my device, and it'll pop up and play my audio sample. Right, so it wakes your device, I've got it showing the person who sent it and a description of the text and I can click view and go straight into that text. Right, so that was the first app and for me that's essential. The next one I'm going to show you is Office Suite 7. Now Polaris Office is, is really cool and I really like that, uh, but P Office Suite 7 offers PowerPoint and it also enables you to create all these documents. Let me just write down the quick brown fox jump over the lazy dog. And so you can zoom in the screen. Now the good thing about it that this is pretty much a full on word processing app that has almost everything that Word offers. Um, so it has all these options for layout at the bottom. It's got your dictionary. You can download additional dictionaries. Uh, it's, it's a huge application. Um, the good thing about it is that it supports 2012 and 2010 Office um, .docx files, uh, which some don't. Um, obviously you can store it on your SD card, your internal SD card. Um, there's an option for a cloud, you can even have it on, link it to your Dropbox. So there's a huge amount of settings that this has. For me to go through this app, and show you everything it does it will probably take about 20 or 30 minutes. So I just wanted to show you that it's available and I will add a link in the description for you to directly download that and also a link for the Play Store if you'd rather do it that way. For me the best part of this application is the ability to create and view PowerPoint slides. Now most apps don't have this because this is a pretty full-on piece of software and it it's a little bit sluggish, um, it's not immediately responsive when you zoom in and zoom out, but that kind of goes without saying, it's, PowerPoint is quite an intense application, and for a handheld device like this to run it smoothly, it's a big ask. Okay, the last application I'll show you, um, I'm pretty sure you're running a version of it, or a version similar, is SwiftKey. Now in particular SwiftKey Flow, it's uh, like the swipe or the running through the letters as you're typing. Uh, it just saves so much more time and if you're not doing it you need to. Either Swift Key or Swipe or a version of it is essential. It's so much faster. Um, the good point about Swift Key is that you can enable it to learn from your email and learn from your text that you type. Um, it remembers words you write on the basis so if, if I write the and at the start of a sentence, if I start writing a, a, a sentence, it'll say, hey, I think you're going to write the, am I right? And 
Bam. Uh, it also has the ability to do speech recognition, and that uses the Google in, um, API. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Right, now the way this works is instead of tapping the letter, you swipe through it so you don't take your finger off and you can see it leaves a little trail, a bluey pink trail as I swipe through the word. Now within the settings of this you can choose a theme and I'd chosen the default cobalt but um, let me go down and choose yeah, like a neon that may fit with the theme of my ROM. If I go back out I'll pull into my email again and show you the keyboard. Okay, so there you go. Now nothing changes, just the uh, the color of the theme changes. So when you swipe through your letters, actually can we close mail? Swipe through, you can see the trail is still the same. It shows you what letters you've swiped through. Now above the keyboard you can see three words, and there's always three words. Um, you can see I just typed in infra and it's got the, red and I and it thinks a infra and red go together, um, that is the high probability option for your typing. That's all I wanted to show you guys today, so thanks for watching, don't forget to thumbs up, write a comment if you want to, and as always, I'll catch you next time.